Toad, did you get braces? Yes, I did actually. I can tell, you look like a fucking dork. So I know what you're thinking, how are braces bad? Braces are great, they straighten your teeth. Well yeah, they do make your teeth look somewhat normal if you're a freak of nature like me, but that's about it. The process, preparations, and after getting braces are all hell. Yeah, it's not fun at all. It also doesn't help that braces give you a sort of social status of being a fucking nerd loser who's gonna die alone because they weren't born as a super perfect model man. But anyway, braces aren't a fun experience regardless of who you are, unless you like your life being pain for around a year and a half. Ah uh, yeah, before getting braces, what a fun time. You go to a room, talk to Mr. Orthodontist man, he shows you the bill and holy shit are braces expensive. Yeah, I know it shouldn't be much of a surprise seeing how intricate and complex braces are when you actually take the time to think about it, but fuck man, the pricing can go up to like $10,000. And yeah, I do understand that all the individual parts that make up braces are pretty expensive, but $10,000? Even most standard braces will cost you up to $7,000. But yeah, after you get ripped off you come back around a week later and you begin to understand what it means to hurt yeah spacers they're not fun either spacers are basically plastic or if you're really unlucky metal bands fucking inserted into the gaps of your teeth which are meant to spread your teeth out so they're adequately spaced for your braces being applied the problem they hurt a lot now, someone who's had spacers and in fact still has braces, I can wholeheartedly testify that the first week with spacers hurts your teeth as much as trying to eat when you first get braces. Hell, at times worse. And that's saying something. This is where you really begin to understand how limited you are with the braces. Even with spacers, you need to be careful not to pop out the spacers or else you might have to get them re-added for even longer, which means sticky, sweet, as well as hard foods are off the list. I guess in a way you can see them as preparing you mentally for braces, but if anything, the pain with spacers exceeds the amount of pain you get with braces. Oh boy, now you're ready for braces. You woke up and brushed your hair, made sure you didn't choke on your spaces, your teeth hurt, they're numb, they're sore, and now you're ready for the worst hour and a half of your life. At first, it's not that bad, you know, they're just slathering up your teeth, putting the necessaries on it, but as soon as they start putting the metal on, it all goes to shit. This was painful for me, and it doesn't help that you also have a vacuum sucking the moisture out of your mouth. You have to keep your mouth as wide as open as possible to avoid getting mouth fucked, but you're having pieces of metal being forced upon your teeth, like fuck dude, you might as well just pull out my goddamn teeth while you're at it. But after that's done, you know, they put on the wire, they ask you what color ties you want, and they're also painfully attached to your mouth. It's like having the metal re-put in, except you have to go through getting the ties removed and attached whenever you get your braces tightened, which also isn't fun. After around the first six months of you getting your braces tightened, you do get used to having the ties ripped off and put back, but it's still irritating. Also, speaking of getting them tightened, yeah, you're basically going through the same pain you went when you first got your braces. Moral is, what doesn't kill you will likely injure you, but in the end will make you more physically capable. Hey, did you get braces? Did you get braces? You got braces? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you noticed I got metal wires put into my mouth. Now stop bugging me. Ugh. After getting braces, you realize why most people who don't like braces dislike them so much. You can't eat. People are bugging you. You can't fucking eat. You might be wondering what I mean by that. I don't mean you can't physically consume anything. I mean for the first 48 to 96 hours, you're not going to want to eat. You'll learn to hate apples and hard candy. Basically, because braces are just metal pieces applying pressure to your teeth, your teeth are going to be very numb. That means that trying to eat food is going to hurt a lot. You do get used to the pain again until you get them tightened because there's more pressure being applied, but it still hurts. Yeah, I understand in two years I'm going to get them off and I'm going to be thankful and stuff, but currently I'm hurting. But after you get over that phase of pain, a new phase of pain overcomes you. Now that you can properly eat without being in pain, you're going to realize that you can't eat very much without difficulty. Small foods get stuck in your teeth, hard foods hurt to chew, you basically have to have 10 toothpicks on you, especially when eating popcorn. Like, popcorn is good and all, but... It would not get out of your teeth. It sucks, especially considering how delicious it is. Really ruins movies. But if you try to eat anything that's meaty, chewy, etc., it's gonna get stuck in your teeth and that's annoying. Then the flow of your eating is disrupted because you have to manually get it out either with your toothpick or with your damn tongue. You have to do this just about every time you eat, unless you're Eugene Acuna. But in addition to what I just said, there's your social status. For whatever reason, braces have come to represent nerds. Not saying that being a nerd is a problem, but basically, if you have braces, 
you're a loser virgin nerd. Not sure why this is or how it came about, but I'm assuming it's because, you know, people are dicks and like to pick on any vulnerability slash insecurity you have and just completely over exaggerate it. Apparently, if you're not a supermodel who is born with a perfect face and features and is totally perfect in every single way, you're a social outcast. I mean, I personally rather judge people based on their personality, but society says otherwise, so. Thanks, fourth grade. And yes, I know, braces straighten your teeth. I know they help you in the long run, unless you're the type of person to not use a retainer because fuck that gay shit. But you know, just because I'm gonna have perfect teeth in two years doesn't mean that my suffering is excused. And look, I don't have any real alternatives for braces other than just not having ruined jeans. But that doesn't mean you still don't suffer. Basically, braces work like Yeah, you're not gonna be able to eat anything for two years, but in two years you'll be beautiful. That's like going to school, being forced to fail your classes for the next two years, but after that, you'll have all A's until you graduate, just... What? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I just like races, they hurt, they limit you, and you're basically a nerd. Whoa, who exactly are you? I am the Tooth Lord, the overlooker of all things teeth, including braces and cavity. Oh, so you're the Tooth Fairy. That doesn't sound as cool as a Tooth Lord. Anyway, I heard an angry black child raining about braces and well. That's no good. Oops. You do know that spreading your lies are prohibited, right? I didn't know this was fucking North Korea. For your crimes, I will smite you. Oh, you can't do shit. Look, if you want my forgiveness, I'll let you come and visit me. If you can prove yourself, I'll grant you whatever you want. Fucking bitch. What did you say? Nothing. That's what I thought.